chance. She might be on our bus. Good morning. So today it's our last day in MP. We're checking out from our guest house here and um, stroll around for a few hours and then get on the bus to Mumbai. Peace out. See you later. We just spent a couple hours at the guest house just playing cards with our friends, new acquired friends from Australia and the UK. Um, it's so hot. It's so stupidly hot that it's hard to do anything. Bye bye, Hampi. We made it across the river and now to the bus station. Happy Hampi! Julia just got some bananas, which could be very dangerous because of those. Julia, what you're having? This is Italy and this is Alpha. Hey Julia, where are we? We're on the sleeper bus and this time is so much better than the first time we went on it. It's so much better. <laughs> Look. <laughs> this is insane. We're gonna be here on the bus for the next, what, 10 hours? 14 hours. 14 hours. We're gonna sleep on the bus with some TV. Yeah, because there's TV too. Uh, so we're just gonna chill here on the bus. I actually sleep fantastically on these buses because it's all bumpy and it reminds me of going with the RV when I was a kid with my parents. I'll see you later, guys. Peace out. Hello, hello. We're on a tuk-tuk in Mumbai going to the domestic airport because we're going to Jaipur in Rajasthan. Yes. That's where we're heading and let's do it. One week later, I'm still in Mumbai's airport sitting in the exact same seat. Just this time there's one more person with me. And uh, we're heading north to Jaipur vlogging talking to the camera it's becoming harder and harder throughout india because people they just storm around you looking at what you do and they even like start talking to you while you're doing it this is part of the experience i have a confession after a whole week of doing great food wise health wise in the past few hours i haven't been feeling that great and add that to the fact that i had to run to the bathroom and there was only a squatter and I just had to go there. Um, it wasn't really great, but again, this is India for you. So just get used to it, suck it up, and enjoy the chaos, I guess. <laughs> See you in Jaipur. We just made it to Jaipur, and uh, we don't know much about this city because, oh God, they drive like crazy. So we didn't get to read much uh, about it because we didn't have time and the book was in the backpacks that we checked in. But all um, we know is that our guest house is very close to the center and to something called the pink wall, so pink city. to another beautiful day in India. Today we're going to the old town in uh, Jaipur and uh, it's gonna be the last 
cool day of the season only a minimum of 38 degrees celsius because tomorrow the temperatures are gonna go up to a 42 45 degrees which is i don't know like 130 fahrenheit like something insane <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> First stop of the day, Monkey Temple. Or this one. That one. <laughs> This is Jaipur, in all its glory, poverty and beauty. Second attraction is the famous Amber Fort, the Amber Palace, the top attraction here in Jaipur. It used to be the palace of the, the Emperor, chief of the army, Emperor's army chief or something similar, and it was built by, back in the 1600s. The architecture is a mix between Hindi and the typical architecture of Rajasthan. here they really look like the Chinese Great Wall. Enough with the Amber Palace next to the and that's the water palace. We just took a pic because it's private so we can get in. Pink City Market, the bazaar here. It's so crazy, so crazy. Hello. Hi. We had to stop at a temple on this side of the road because we're just so stressed out by the honking and the traffic and you know just the noise pollution around here and the people pollution and any sort of pollution it just it's so much it gets really really tiring very quickly hi hi are you going to school here yeah okay. <laughs> i didn't want it to talk no <laughs> bye. bye the teacher told them not to talk to strangers <laughs> we have been suggested to come here to this place right here in Jaipur which is an authentic factory that employs women from very poor families maybe women that don't have husbands, kids and especially women from the country and they're employed here in the textiles, they, they print fabrics, they make suits, 
and they're able to sustain themselves. These are the stems. Help mm. us to the painting. Well, green color we get from spinach, mm. yellow from turmeric. This size, uh, that much noted, and this much is pink. Stay We ended up buying one suit for me and one shirt and a few scarves as presents for friends, family. The price was good. It wasn't anything cheap, but the craftsmanship was great. It's fantastic how they make their own yeah. textiles. And uh, you know, it's funny because they export all these textiles all over the world, even Italy. We just found a garden in the middle of all this chaos and just craziness. It's really nice to find a place like this. We're just gonna chill here for a few minutes, for a few half an hour. Uh, just recover from the traffic and the mountain. Check out the monkeys. There might be a little too many monkeys here. It, it's so, it's so funny just to stare at them and look at what they do how they behave so human-like, how they clean themselves. It's really cute. But um, yeah, we, we want to sit down without being assaulted. We are stir everywhere. So Even there, though. yeah, without people. But you know what? I, I don't think they will, will give us any trouble. I'm just crossing. Look at them, they're swimming. Oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, nope. Okay. <laughs> All right, don't bother the monkeys. Julia, do you still want to hang out around here? <laughs> God, they're so scary. Oof, okay, we're fine. We're fine. 